Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on Sir Vagabond, and this is the box that the album is going to go into, and so I'm going to give you those measurements. So both side panels are 4 and 1 8 by 8 inches, so you need two of those. The front and back panel is 8 by 10, and then the bottom piece is four by 10 and I need to write that down. So front and back is <clears throat> eight by 10 and you need two. The side panels, four and one eighth by eight. And then the base is four by 10. And you need two, and then this one, you just need one. Okay, and we'll talk about the lid a little bit later on. So I had just mocked this up and held it together with my um, my blue tape. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to start to uh, construct the box. Part of the reason I just mocked it up was I also wanted to make sure that my album was going to fit in the box uh, nicely. Um, and it's actually quite a bit wider than the album. Um, so you can store lots of goodies in there. So assuming you take a trip, you might have other souvenirs other than photos that you might want to stow inside the box. Okay. So the way the box is constructed is the base is, okay, there's my two sides, my front and back. The base is actually going to sit flat and the panels are going to adhere to them like so. So you're, we're not setting the, um, the front and back panel on top of the base. It's going to the outside of it. So hopefully that makes sense. So the join is going to look like this. Okay, the base is going to be flat to your craft mat or whatever you're using. Your front and back panels are going to sit like that. So the bottom of your front and back panel is going to be flush with the, the base. So I'm going to adhere it just like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to put a line of glue here. You can use a glue gun to construct this if you want. <clears throat> Your front and back panel should be exact, exactly the same height as, um, or width as the, the base. Sorry, I'm going to turn that around so I can see better. I'm going to hold it in place for a few minutes. And then I'm probably going to reinforce it with some tape as I continue to work on the box. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go with one of my sides, so I've got a little bit of something helping with the strength. I'm also going to put a little bit of tape on here to hold the shape. Okay, now the same thing, The I'm going to glue these two edges and place this side to side. Okay. <clears throat> Thank 
Oops. I'll hold that for a second. Then I'm going to put some tape on it. I think it's actually easier to put the glue on the panel rather than these edges. I'm going to try this a different way. It's not wanting to join on the very bottom corner. So I'm actually going to see if it fits better this way. I'm not sure what my problem is. Just took off a little bit on the corner. <clears throat> Let's do that again. It's tedious. It's not difficult, just tedious. Okay, so to further reinforce uh, the box, I'm going to um, create uh, strips that are going to go into the box. Um, and I'm noticing that the two sides are a little bit... Nope, that's going to work perfect. Um to go around the outside of the box. So they're going to be one inch strips scored in half and I'm going to go over every seam uh, to reinforce it on the outside. So the glue isn't the only thing that's going to be holding it together. Okay. 
Oops, you know what? This glue isn't supposed to be on the outside. Okay, that's all right. It's supposed to be on the inside. Uh, the, this panel fits inside the two sides. So it should fit just slightly inside the left and right. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a second. And while that's happening, I'm going to cut my strips. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've cut my strips. I don't know if I have enough or not, but I have enough to get started. So we are going to, I scored them in half and I actually did a two inch. So you're gonna have an inch overlay on either side. <clears throat> And let's see, so this is 10, no, it's eight, sorry. So we want this to be 10 inches, so I'm gonna cut two inches off. That way I don't have to trim it after I, um, after I glue it down. So we're gonna cut right here at 10 inches. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want too much excess. I really like this tool. I should have trimmed them up front so you guys wouldn't have to sit and watch me do this, but we'll go ahead and get started. So you need uh, four of those. Okay. And we're just going to have an inch overlay on top and bottom, like so. And I am actually going to use glue. You can use tape if you want. I'm going to use glue partly because it just gives me a little bit more time to wiggle things in place. If you're going to press it firmly in place, make sure you're supporting it on the inside. So don't, um, it doesn't break the seal that we created earlier. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over and we're going to add glue here. So the bottom is going to be a simple uh, mitered corner down here, and the top, we're going to use our ruler and draw. So you want your ruler to be leaning against the um, outside edge of the box, which means you're not going to cut right into the corner here. You're going to cut a little away from the corner, and I'll show that to you in a second. <clears throat> so there's where I trimmed, there's where the score line is. And by pressing my ruler straight against here, it created that little gap so that it stands off. You're gonna place this one inside the box first, and then that little flange is what's gonna cover your corner. and also rise up a little bit 
so that when you lay this one down, there's no there's no visual gap. Okay, let me get some glue in there. And press that in. I'll show it to you when I get it in. Okay, see how that looks? See how it came up and covered the corner? Now this one is gonna lay straight down and it's gonna give you this beautiful corner, okay? Okay, we're gonna repeat that process all the way around the box. So in addition to strengthening the box, it's also um, going to create um, the border on the box. So when I add my designer paper, there will be a black border all the way around. So I'm not gonna cover the whole box, I'm just gonna cover um, the edges, if that makes sense, okay? Now it's time to take care of this corner. Sorry, I've got uh, junk all over me. And this one, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna pinch it, use my scissors. I'm gonna cut away from the corner so I don't risk um, over trimming. Okay. Okay, see, I just I pinched it, trimmed it. That's what it looks like. We're just going to lay it down just like that. So we're having a nice, nice corner. Okay. And that looks pretty good. Let's get some glue on it. take a break I'm gonna go ahead and do um, the rest these three corners then when I come back we will go over covering the two bottom edges and the top edges so just take the process that we just went through repeat that um, for the remaining three corners and then when I get back we will um, cover the remaining edges okay I'll be back soon Okay, I've got my uh, four sides done. So now let's go ahead and start on the bottom. And you're gonna need two strips and these are 12 inches long because I just want a one inch overhang, you know, all the way around. So, and actually, you know what, I'm, I'm rethinking that now because I don't, I don't want to um, do the corners again because I think it's going to get too bulky. I just hadn't thought that through. So I think I'm just going to do um, a strip that's uh, the width of the box. So I'm going to lay it down and position it and then draw a line and trim it to fit. Okay. And I'm just going uh, the full length of the box. And I think that'll make for a clean... Uh, finish. So I'll trim that off. <clears throat> and um, basically what I'm doing on the bottom, we're going to do on the top. So I'm going to do one bottom, one top, and then I'll uh, go offline and finish it. But that way you guys will have seen me do it both the bottom and top and sides. Okay. And then I've got to take a break and take my dog out. She's not having it. <laughs> you can miter the corner if you want. It's going to be pretty much covered with um, designer paper, so I'm not really worried about mitering it. Mm. 
And we'll do the, the side pieces as well. I need a little glue here in the corner. Okay, looks good. Okay, so that's uh, an example of the bottom one. Now, I'm going to do the top. And same thing, I'm going to trim it. <laughs> this is not the right size, so or didn't score it correctly. So I'm going to tie it. Okay. I'll score this in half. sure it's going to fold over inside. Mm -hmm. So um, on the bottom I didn't miter but on the top I'm going to miter so it folds over the box a little bit better. So I'm just going to Very chatty this morning. I'm going to test it before I put any glue on it. Let's see how that looks. You know what? I think I'm going to miter both sides. I think I'll like that better. It's kind of bulky. And you can, by the way, you could do this on the bottom if you want. Yeah, that feels like it fits better. So. So I was off screen a little bit and what I was doing is I was making sure that there's glue down in those corners uh, so it really grabs the box. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> hmm. Okay, so that's that. Um, let that dry and then so I still got these two edges to do but you guys know what to do now. So we'll finish that up and then we'll meet back here and uh, we'll start decorating this box. How's that? Okay, be back soon, guys. Hey, everyone. Okay, so I finished covering all my edges and uh, hopefully you have too and we're ready to decorate. So as part of the um, material list, um, I've added, in addition to just the packs of paper, I got the two sheets of the 12 by 12 
um, that we're going to use to cover the box. And you're going to need those uh, sheets because um, there won't be enough in the pack um, to cover the box without it. So it is in the material list. So it's two additional sheets, single, a pack of two single sheets. <laughs> That's hard to say. Um, and that will cover the box. And then the lid is going to be covered with um, rice paper. And I'm not sure how much yet. I set aside two sheets, but we'll see. We'll see if I can make that stretch or if it's too much, I'll let you know. But the material is right now, I have it down for two. So I have to try to figure out the orientation of this. <clears throat> I think it goes this way. <laughs> I hate that. Yeah, I'm going to put the the um, tree on the top, yeah. Oh, I need to scooch that over a little. Okay, the front and the back are going to be covered with the same paper. Like so. And the sides, uh, it's, it's the same uh, paper, but we're going to use the, the red side. Yep. <clears throat> Need a little more glue there on the corner. I'll go back and check those. I need to trim that down a little bit. Yep. That should do it. Let's see, do I? Yeah, okay. Just need to ink that. Okay, so now the last thing is I'm just going to put a little piece of black paper here to finish it off. Um, I'll just trim it down to, to that. 
to fit. And then we're going to add um, these graphic 45 feet to the box. <clears throat> Okay. I mean, of course you could cut a larger piece, but because it has feet, you're not going to turn it over. So I'm going to go ahead. Well, trying to decide if I want to line it. Um, I think I'm, I, I don't think I'm going to line it um, just because I really need to get this project out, but you could easily cut down uh, black cardstock to line the inside of, of the album. Oh, I might go back and do that later. And, and they, uh, they would just be straight pieces, right? Nothing special. I'm using art glitter glue to attach the feet. And it does, you have to be patient because uh, it does take a while to for the glue to dry against the metal. But I found that once it is dry, it's very secure. So I'm just going to attach these two feet, give it plenty of time to dry, and then we'll rotate it and do the other two. Okay, I'm going to hold that in place. Make sure I've got contact all the way. This is going to be so pretty when it's done. I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, I'm going to give that some time to dry, and then um, when I come back, we'll, we'll flip it over to the other side. Okay, these are nice and dry. I think I gave it about 15 minutes was enough time to get dinner started. <laughs> okay, get the other feet on. Sorry, that was a fan in the background just trying to speed up my dry time. Okay, so I'm going to hold these in place for a few minutes, make sure I have good contact. I've got a fan blowing on it, so it'll be dry in a few minutes. And then we're going to get started on the, um, the lid, which is really kind of the, um, the essence of the overall project. So I'll be back soon, and we'll start working on the lid.